Welcome to Titan's Tips and Tricks video for the Maxim 2 gun. In this video, we'll go over setting up the spray pattern as well as troubleshooting some common issues. The Cap Spray 115 we're using as an example in this video has two levels of airflow, high and low. The low setting is for spraying thinner coatings, the high is for thicker coatings. All other units only have a single setting used for all coatings. The gun has a yoke and lever system for latching the cup to the lid. Moving the lever to the right releases the latch to remove the cup. With the cup released, look at the pickup tube and its two positions for painting without losing material flow. The tube is connected to the second lever on the lid. Moving it right all the way allows for tipping downward. Moving it left all the way is for tipping upwards. With the cup mounted in the yoke, moving the first lever to the left tightens the latch. Take care not to over tighten the latch. Only lightly snug is needed. The air cap flush with the needle is the starting point for your pattern width. Adjusting it a small amount in or out from center will allow you to finally adjust the pattern. The top airflow knob controls the amount of atomizing air coming from the air cap. Adjusting it right or left from center will reduce the amount of air. The bottom material flow knob controls the amount of paint coming from the needle by stopping the travel of the trigger. Full open is unthreaded far enough to expose one thread on the knob fitting. Turning the knob clockwise will reduce the amount of paint by shortening the trigger pull. To start, release the latch and remove the cup. Now fill the cup with paint just below the neck and reattach the cup to your gun. With your settings all at their starting point and paint in the cup, it's time to spray a test pattern. The speed of gun movement affects the amount of paint on the wall. Moving it slowly will spray more paint on a surface while a faster motion will spray less. The distance you spray from your surface will also determine your pattern width. Spraying close to the surface will produce a narrower pattern, while spraying from further away will produce a wider one. Let's practice using the controls, starting with the material flow knob. Remember to spray at a consistent speed and distance. Spray your first test line, then turn the knob clockwise a couple turns and spray a second one. Notice the change in the paint thickness. Now let's get comfortable with the airflow knob. The starting point is full air. Adjust it in some and spray to see the effect. You can also adjust the air while you're in mid-spray to see this effect. Now let's talk about the directional pattern control. The Maxim 2 gun can quickly change patterns by adjusting the air cap position. The horizontal air cap position sprays horizontally. The vertical position sprays vertically. And the diagonal position sprays a conical pattern. The last thing to cover is selecting the correct needle for the material you will spray. Use the chart supplied in the owner's manual to select the best needle for your material. Remember to test your pattern to determine if any coating adjustment is needed. Here is a number three pro set with a thick latex. Notice the spitting in the spray pattern. We were unable to adjust this out with the fluid and air controls, so we will need to thin the material or change to the next needle size. Recognize that even with the correct needle size, you may still have to thin the material some to get a complete atomized pattern. Do this in increments and retest until you find the correct ratio without affecting the final finish. Here is the same number three thinned 5%. Here is the same paint with the number four pro set. Better pattern, but still spitting and the gun is unable to correct it. Finally, here is the recommended size for this material, a number five. Notice how it is spraying clean without any spits, and in this case, the material did not need to be thinned. It is also important to not overpaint, which can cause runs and bad finishes. Next, let's cover the possible spraying issues that either paint or in some cases worn parts can cause. A partially clogged check valve will prevent air pressure from pushing enough paint up the pickup tube to the needle for a good pattern. A completely clogged or missing check valve will prevent any paint from coming out at all. If you experience a pattern which is split between good and bad sections, your air cap is likely clogged. If you experience fluid streaming after the trigger is released, you either have material buildup in the nozzle or you over tighten the needle seal nut when changing it. To learn how to correct these issues, please see our Maxim 2 troubleshooting video series on Titan's YouTube channel. 
Thanks so much for watching the Maxim 2 Tips and Tricks video. If you have any questions, please refer to your user manual or contact Titan's technical service team.